For the word problem section of our algebra course, it's important to know the steps that you have to follow when solving a word problem in order to earn all of the marks. These steps are listed here. First, you define the variables that you will use in your word problem using x. Secondly, you must create an equation. You must solve the equation using the algebra you've learned. You have to give the answer and do not forget to apply a unit of measure if it does apply to your answer. If you want to earn all of the marks, you have to do all of those things. Frequently, getting the answer correct is only worth two marks in itself. Example one. If I add seven to my age and then divide the answer by four, I get eight as a result. What is my age? I have to define the variable. The hint for defining a variable is it usually is found in the question at the end of the problem. What is my age? So you say let x equal my age. This gets you started building your equation and it earns you your first mark or two. If I add 7 to my age, means my equation will have x plus 7. If I then divide the answer to this by 4, I can show that by putting a 4 here. I get is the equal sign, 8. Now I have an equation which, if I solve it, will give me the right answer to this question. My algebraic expression is being divided by a 4, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 4. These cancel, and I end up with x plus 7 equals 8 times 4 is 32. Move the 7 to the other side and you'll get x equals 32 minus 7, x equals 25. You have to say the answer. <coughs> I am 25 years old. The years old is the unit of measure in this case. That question could get 10 on 10 or 5 on 5 on a final exam. Example two, three consecutive odd numbers total 159. What are they? The trick here is that there is more than one unknown in this question. They want more than one answer from you. They want all three of these odd numbers. My hint is, when you define the variables, make x equal to the smallest of your unknowns. So I will say, let x equal smallest number. Then, since there are more unknowns, I have to express them as x. Consecutive odd numbers go up by 2. If x is my smallest odd number, the next consecutive odd number will be x plus 2. So I say let x plus 2 equal the next number, and let x plus 4 equal the last one. Now when I build my equation, <coughs> I am totaling 159. That just means add, so I will do x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equals 159. And I have an algebraic equation that can be solved with algebra skills. x plus x plus x is equal to 3x. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Move the 6 to the other side. 3x equals 159 minus 6, which is equal to 153. Divide both sides by 3 and x equals 51. Say the answer at the end. The numbers are 51. If you add 2 to 51, you get 53. And if you add 4 to 51, you get 55. There is no unit of measure here because the answer was just a number. This is how you do word problems. Remember, when you do word problems, to do all of these steps, because if you leave any of them out, you may get the answer right, but still not get full marks for the question. Now it's time to practice. Use the exercise sheet to do some word problems, and use the answer key to correct your own work.